In this video, let's talk about the basic concept of proportion and I will also show you the standardization formula. So we have two new symbols to introduce. The first one is a lowercase p that is called population proportion. And then the other one is very important is called sample proportion that is called p hat. Do you see that there is a, like an angle right above the p that is called hat. So p hat in statistics, the hat means estimation so since sample is an estimation of the population so for sample proportion we put a head on top of p that stands for sample and then the sample proportion is equals to x divided by n which is the number of success divided by a sample size so what does that mean so let's say i have uh, 50 people in a classroom and then uh, 30 of them drive their own car to school then the sample proportion is 30 people drive their own car to school out of 50 people that works just like relative frequency and let's say i have um uh, 2000 people in a high school and then 600 of them are seniors then the sample proportion is 600 out of 2000 and then uh let's say i have a uh, 100 people in a classroom and uh 40 of them drink coffee every day then the sample proportion is 40 out of 100 so the maximum you can go is you can have 100 people drink coffees in this classroom so the the maximum you can go is 100 divided by 100 and then the minimum you can go is 0 divided by 100 which is nobody drinks coffee in that class so that means when you write a sample proportion the maximum is 0 I mean the maximum is 1 the minimum is equals to 0 so you cannot have 100 students in a class and then 200 of them drink a coffee every day right so that is not going to work and um, you cannot have 100 people in a classroom and say that a negative five of them drink coffee every day that doesn't make any sense right no negative the minimum is zero which is zero divided by a sample size the maximum is the sample size divided by itself so if you have 40 people in a classroom they drive their own, all of them drive their own car to school then the proportion is 40 out of 40 so the maximum is one the minimum is zero and then uh, how do we standardize to standardize we do this z so the proportion follows the z procedure so that is p hat minus p divided by the square root of p and then one minus p divided by n and then the denominator is standard error so this denominator let me write down for you this denominator is standard error we call it se and then one other question that people ask me all the time is okay uh when you see a proportion problem how do you know that that proportion that problem is a proportion problem or not a t problem or not a z problem so here is the the difference so for a z problem you will see that the sigma is given for a t problem there is an unknown sigma so you have to use the sample standard deviation s for proportion problem you will see the keyword proportion they will tell you they will use this word proportion or they will give you something like this they will give you a sample size and then the number of success so in a proportion problem they won't mention a standard deviation they won't say the mean they don't say the variance so no mean no variance no standard deviation in a proportion problem and then keep this in in your mind proportion problem is always the easiest the problem setting is easy the problem statement is short and simple you need a sample size you need a number of success in that sample to do the whole thing okay proportion problem no mean no variance no standard deviation you will need to pick up a mean not, not a mean sorry you need to pick up a sample size from the problem and the next thing is you need to pick up the number of success in this sample from a problem that's it and most of the time the problem will use the word proportion okay so that was is the basic concept of proportion in the next video i will show you how to use the calculator command to approximate the area under the curve i will see you all in there signing off for now